This lesson is on increasing and decreasing percents. We're going to be doing a number of problems, and you need to read these questions carefully. Does the question just ask for the increase or decrease in the price or salary or whatever the question is dealing with? Or is the question asking for the actual price or salary, etc.? Before we talk about increasing or decreasing a quantity, we need to talk about how a quantity remains the same. To keep a quantity at its original amount, you take 100% of its original amount. So taking 100% of something is kind of like multiplying by 1. We'll demonstrate this in the following example. What is 100% of 25? This is a percent equation. So I'll we'll use our equivalent fraction, percent over 100 equals is over of. Substitute in our values, 100 for percent and 25 for of. And now we'll solve for our unknown. 100 divided by 100, of course, is 1. And then we'll need to multiply the 1 by 25 to solve. So you can see that taking 100% of something is very similar to just multiplying something by 1 and our answer is 25. So 25 is 100% of 25. Now let's talk about increasing the percents. If something has increased by 5%, then it is greater than 100%. It's 100 plus 5, or 105% of what it was. We'll do an example here to demonstrate an increasing percentage. Lucky Larry has just received a 12% increase in his monthly salary. If he was making $5,400 per month, then what will his monthly salary be now? In this case, we are looking for his entire salary. So Larry's salary is being increased by 12%. Now his salary would be at 112% of what it was. So our percent equation becomes what is 112% of $5,400? We'll use our equivalent fractions, substitute in our values, and multiply to solve for the unknown. Lucky Larry's new salary is $6,048 per month. Read this example carefully and see if you notice the difference in what it is asking for. Larry just received a 12% increase in his monthly salary. If he was making $5,400 per month, then how much more money per month is he making now? In this question, we are just asking for what is the increase in his salary. We just want to know what is the 12% increase of $5,400. So our percent equation becomes what is 12% of 5,400? Equivalent fractions, substitute in our values, and this time, when we solve for the unknown, we get an answer of just $648. So this is just how much more money Larry is making per month. We could have also used this increase of $648 to answer Larry's new salary from example one. We could take that increase of $648 and add it to his original salary of $5,400 to come up with our answer of $6,048. So this would be another way you could do example one. Let's talk about decreasing percents. Remember, 100% of a number equals that number. So taking 100% of something is like multiplying something by one the value remains unchanged. If something has a decrease of 8% then, it is 100 minus that number. So a decrease of 8% becomes 100 minus 8% or 92% of what it was. The percentage is now less than 100 when we're talking about decreasing. We'll do an example. Betty the bargain hunter is not going to buy this special jacket for $239. She is going to wait until next week when it is 15% off. How much will the jacket cost next week? 
In this case, we are looking for the entire cost, not just the decrease. So the price of the jacket is being decreased by 15%. Therefore, it is at 100 minus 15 or 85% of its original cost. Percent equation becomes what is 85% of 239? Our equivalent fractions, we will substitute in our values and now we'll solve for the unknown. So the price becomes $203.15. Now again, we will change this example just slightly and see what we're looking for this time. Betty is not going to buy this special jacket for $239. She is going to wait until next week when it becomes 15% off. How much money will she save? We are just wanting to know how much less money it is. So we just want the decrease in price. What is 15% of $239? Equivalent fractions. We will substitute in our values and solve for the unknown. So our answer is $35.85 is what she will say. How can we use this number to get our answer in example three? We can take the original cost of the jacket, $239, and subtract the 15% savings, $35.85, and we'll come up with an answer of $203.15, which if you notice was our answer for example three. Here are a couple other examples on increasing and decreasing percents. Gas guzzler Gus watched the price of gas go from $1.20 per liter in 2009 to $1.41 per liter in 2013. What was the percent increased in cost of the gas? We're just looking for the increased amount. So firstly, how much did the price of gas increase? The price of gas just increased by 21 cents. Our percent equation becomes 0.21 is what percent of 120? We'll use our equivalent fractions, substitute in our values, and this time of course we're solving for percent. We'll isolate the percent, multiply both sides by 100, and we come up with an answer of 17.5%. So that was the increase in the price of gas. Let's do one more example. Today the population of Somerville is 13,400. It has decreased by 12% from what it was in the year 2000. What was its population in the year 2000? We are interested in the entire population, not just the decreased amount. So 13,400 represents 100 less the 12% or 88% of what the population was in the year 2000. Our percent equation becomes 13,400 is 88% of what number? Our equivalent fractions substitute in our values, solving for of, because it's on the bottom, is a little trickier. We multiply both sides of the equation by the unknown and then divide both sides by 0.88, which came from 88 divided by 100. So our answer is 13,400 divided by decimal 88, which gives us 15,227 the population of Somerville in the year 2000.